Hey everyone, it's Steph from Steph C Art. So today I have a forest home planter. It's a 3D printed model designed to make your small plant look like a forest next to a tiny cabin. In this video, I'll show you how I created it. The first step in creating the planter was to turn the rough sketch into a 3D model. I decided to split the model into the forest box part and the base for the cabin. I could have kept them as one piece, but it would have required support pieces to help it print properly and I didn't want to use more filament than necessary. I also split other models based on printing color and just for better prints. These are the wood colored pieces being printed. The print ended up being a little stringy, but that was easily removed. This was probably because I needed to tweak the settings a little bit, and or because the size of the layers are really small. After sanding the printed pieces, I used a modeling paste to fill in any holes. It was only used on the areas that were going to be painted so that it would have a smoother finish. I picked one that would harden after it dried so it could easily be sanded. This was also my first time using a modeling paste, and I was pretty happy with the results. I painted the model with acrylic paint. The green was no longer visible after two coats of the brown paint, but I used three coats to be safe. I also used an acrylic coating spray to seal the paint and the unpainted layers. The model on its own isn't watertight, so the spray keeps the planter from leaking and also helps it last longer. The smaller pieces were printed and cleaned while I was waiting for the paint coats to dry on the base pieces. Later they were sanded and coated with the same acrylic spray. The assembly was a little difficult because there were many small pieces, so when I accidentally dropped one, I had to crawl around on the floor looking for it because I really didn't want to print it again. The rest of it was easy though because the super glue set pretty quickly. And when gluing the pieces to the base, I could start with the larger pieces because the smaller trees and rocks could be rearranged easily. There was also a bit of a problem with the super glue leaving a white residue, but that was easily cleaned with a few swipes of nail polish remover. Planting was the messiest part of the process. Dirt collected around the small parts, so I had to use a small, clean paintbrush to push the dirt back into the box part. Some of the dirt was a bit wet, but after drying in the sun, it was easy to remove. So this is the final product. The mini cabin scene turns any small plant into a large forest. There are small pieces which can make it challenging to assemble. And the planter is also small in general, so it's probably only good for small, slow-growing plants. But all these problems can easily be solved by just scaling the model up before printing. 
I prefer the small models because I can use it for my succulents. Also, I have a small printer, so these small models work best for me. This has been Steph from Steph C Art. Thanks for watching! I had a blast making the forest home planter for my small succulents. And if you're interested in printing this, it'll be available for free download on my Patreon and also on Thingiverse. And if you enjoyed watching the process of making the forest home planter and you'd like to see more like it, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you!